Rangers could be coming to schools in Arizona after Governor Doug Ducey rescinds part of an executive order. It required face masks to be worn inside K through 12 schools, but again, that has been rescinded. Fox 10's Matt Galka is live tonight with the details. Matt, this is controversial. Yeah, and the governor said he made this announcement in accordance with CDC guidance, but it caught a lot of people off guard, including school districts themselves and the state superintendent. With about a month left in the school year, Governor Doug Ducey rescinded the K-12 through mask mandate and left it up to schools to decide what to do for the rest of the year. A surprise to many, including Arizona Superintendent Kathy Hoffman, who had said this just hours before the governor made his announcement. At this time, there, there's no signs of ending the mask mandates in the near future. I, I don't know exactly when we would be working closely with the Department of Health Services to determine when that's appropriate, but um, my hope is that it will continue through at least the summer semester. Following the governor's decision, Hoffman put out her own statement, calling the decision another example of Arizona's, quote, embarrassing response to the virus. But for Jenny Johnson and Alicia Smalling, two parents involved with the Let the Children Breathe rally last week, the news was welcome. There's restaurants, extracurricular activities, the zoo, shopping, everywhere these parents and children go, there's always mass choice. A school setting should be no exception. A number of the state's biggest school districts, including Mesa, Peoria Unified, and Chandler Unified, said their current mask policies remain in place while they review the governor's decision. But for some parents, completely removing masks now seems like a stretch. There's been a lot of progress with vaccinations, but we're not there yet. There's still people that are out uh, engaging in the community with each other, uh, and they can still spread the virus. Uh, it's it's too early for that. For K through 12, for K through 99, it's too. Now, a number of other school districts said similar things. They're reviewing the governor's decision, and if they are going to make any changes, they're going to run it by their school boards. Meanwhile, as for that CDC guidance the governor was talking about, it's unclear right now what guidance he was citing. The latest available on the CDC website recommends masks for schools. We're live tonight. Matt Galka, Fox 10 News.